Welcome viewers to another TV Box Top Review. For today's review, I have the latest mini PC from Minus Forum called the Minus Forum N40 Fanless Mini PC. Minus Forum is one of the top sellers of mini PCs on Amazon.com and has featured lots of great performing mini PCs on this channel. In this video, I will show how you can use the N40 as a regular desktop computer and I will also convert it into a high performance Intel Android TV box. Yes, you heard right. Intel Android TV box, so stay tuned, that's up next. Welcome back. So this is the box that it comes in and let's take a look at its specs printed to the back. The CPU is the Intel Celeron processor N4000 clocked at 2.6 GHz. The GPU is the Intel UHD Graphics 600 clocked at 650 MHz. It has 4GB of LPDDR4 RAM and 64GB of internal system disk. It has Ethernet Gigabit LAN up to 1000 Mbps per second. It has dual band 2.4 plus 5GHz Wi-Fi on a built-in antenna. It has expandable memory via SD card up to 128GB and an internal M2 SSD slot with a capacity of up to 1TB. So those are the specs and I will now proceed with a quick unboxing. So in the box, you have the N40 mini PC itself. You get one HDMI cable, a 12V 1.5A power adapter, a mountain bracket and screws, and a user's operation guide. Let's take a look at its design and its input-output peripherals. The body is made of plastic with some cooling vents and a power LED light to the top. The rear ports consist of one HDMI port, one USB 3.0 port, one Ethernet LAN port, a headphone jack, a reset button and a DC power input. To the left side, you have a VGA port and some cooling vents. On the opposite side, you have two more USB 3.0 ports, one SD card reader and a power button. And below the PC, you have four rubber legs, some more cooling vents and screw holes for the mounted bracket. I will now connect this to my 4K TV that I will be using as a monitor for this review and continue. So I'm all set and I've already completed the Windows Startup Wizard. And here we are at the Windows Desktop and let's look at its system information. Here it shows that the PC is running on Windows 10 Pro operating system. The manufacturer is Best Star Tech Limited and the model is the N40. The processor is the Intel Celeron N4000 with a base clock speed of 1.1 GHz. It has 4 GB of RAM on a 64-bit operating system. And below here it shows that Windows is activated. So what are some of the things you can do on this mini PC on the Windows 10 operating system? Well for starters, it's a fully functional Windows 10 computer so you can perform just about any task you can perform on a regular desktop PC. And one of the most common tasks is browsing the web with any web browser of your choosing. Here I have a few of the most popular web browsers and they all work fine. Another common task is the use of Office applications. I've installed all of the Microsoft Office applications and they are fully functional.
You can also use this mini PC for watching movies and TV shows using the official Netflix app that plays in HD and 4K quality. You can watch YouTube videos in 4K quality via your favorite browser. and you can even play some low-end Windows games. shows you the best route and speed around the track. Another one bites the dust. I can see the trophy now. We're on our way, buddy. There is one more thing you can do with this mini PC, and that is install another operating system using one of its expandable storage options, such as its M2 slot, its SD card slot, or using an external hard drive. For this demonstration, I'm running the latest Android 10Q x86 on an external hard drive via one of its USB 3.0 ports. So this is the Blissram Android 10Q x86 and it installs without issues, but unfortunately it has many issues running on this mini PC. For instance, audio switching between the headphone jack and the HDMI port does not work, so you only have audio via the headphone jack. There are lots of vertical distorted lines on the screen. Netflix and Amazon Prime does not work because the hardware is unsupported. 4K videos also have lots of issues. YouTube only runs on the smart YouTube TV version and I was unable to play any Android games. But all is not lost. I installed Prime OS x86 and it works great. The issues I have with this version is that you still don't have audio via the HDMI port and 4K video playback is not good. I'll now quickly browse through its features and benchmarks and show some of the things you can do on this operating system. First, let's look at the CPU clock speed and how it differs from the Windows operating system. Under Windows, the CPU has a base speed and a boost speed. However, under Android x86, the CPU is at the maximum clock speed of 2.6 GHz. For storage, I'm using a 500 GB external SSD so I have lots of storage to play with and you can go into the terabytes depending on what external hard drive you're using. You are also running on a 64-bit instruction set with 64-bit ABIs. The GPU is the Intel UHD Graphics 600 clocked at 650 MHz with OpenGLES version 3.2. For those interested in benchmarks, these are the high scores you get when you run Android x86 on an Intel Mini PC. So those were the benchmarks. With Prime OS running on this mini PC, you can play Netflix and Amazon Prime Video in basic 480p quality.
YouTube plays up to 1080p smoothly, but above that starts to buffer. Bluetooth works ok and you can connect a Bluetooth gamepad and play some Android games with key mapping support. So there you have it. This was my review of the Minisferum N40 Intel Windows 10 Mini PC. If you are interested in this mini PC, show some support and use my affiliate links in the description area below this video as it provides the means for me to acquire more mini PCs for review. Thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and if you are not a subscriber to this channel, click the subscribe button and the notifications bell to be notified via email when I release a new video or do a giveaway. Keep the streaming community alive and look forward to the next TV Box Stop presentation.